never leaked water out of yourself, which is so weird because you're 70% water. Well, what do you mean? What's blood? Blood is, is not from the cell, right? And so you, okay. you, you'll have blood, which is a liquid state, but it's outside of the cell. We can do huge surgeries with almost no bleeding. And so you're cutting through massive amounts of tissue. Uh, heart surgery is just so dramatic. And there is no leak. There's no water there because it's not a liquid state. It's actually in this fourth phase of water, which looks like a, a dense jello. And what it is, miraculously, is a crystalline structure of that H2O. And that crystalline structure lines up along the DNA of the strand of the virus or the human DNA that you receive from mom and dad to create an antenna system. And so the vibration of water around the double helix of the completed human DNA creates a vibrational antenna. And now when you hit that with light energy, it vibrates at a very specific frequency. So there's a lot to unpack there. That was a big heap of nonsense right there. But let's, let's start with this premise that when you cut yourself, water doesn't come out. Why does that? How come water doesn't pour out of, a, of an opening as if we're like a bag of water? First, he discounts blood, which is mostly water, right? Uh, that doesn't count because it's outside the cell. So he kind of answers his own question there without realizing it. So why doesn't water inside cells leak out when you cut yourself? Well, because it's bound up inside the cell, right? The water's not loose in you. It's in cells. It's in this matrix, this structure. The water itself is liquid, right? It doesn't have to be a crystalline structure, whatever made up crap that he says after that. The water is just inside of a cell of cells, of membranes. It's bound up. Um, but it, does water leak out of the cells? Yeah, it does. The people do have edema, for example, and they might actually leak water through their skin. I've seen it. I'm a physician. I've seen this all the time. People do leak water out of themselves. Um, when the, the, the lymph, lymph is basically the fluid outside the cells, it gets drained as a lymphatic system, right? And if that gets backed up, then the water could start to ooze out, you know, of the tissue. And so, yeah, that, that does happen, actually. And the other thing is if water were coming out, like if obviously you're probably disrupting some cells, and so there may be some water coming out when you do have an injury, like a cut, how would you know? It just mix in with the blood, right? Um, then he goes on to say for some bizarre reason that like you could do major surgery without people bleeding. Did he mean leak water there? But because people bleed a lot when they do surgery, a lot. Again, has he ever scrubbed in on a surgery? I think probably not, this guy. Um, you have to cauterize your way all the way through the surgery. You're constantly controlling the bleeding. You're, you're sucking up the blood. You're capturing it so you can give it back to the patient. You give transfusions to the patient because there's a lot of bleeding that happens during surgeries. Um, why doesn't wa And water doesn't leak out for the same reason because it's bound up in the tissue, in the cells of the tissue. Now, everything else he said is just made-up New Age nonsense about frequencies and the and DNA and the light. That's just you know, go you know, gobbledygook pseudoscientific jargon that he's just making up. It's not really even that original. It's like, oh, we have vibrational frequencies. That's pretty much par for the course. Again, new age nonsense. You could pretty much ignore everything else he says after that point. 